Hi guys, so have you ever wondered about the questions you need to be asking a lender as you are shopping for the best rates among other fees? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the questions you need to be asking so that you can keep the fees you are in control over as low as possible. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Now, the first question you need to ask is what are your origination fees? An origination fee provides additional profit for the lender beyond what's built into the interest rate. A good follow-up question should be what are all your lender fees? Be sure to specify lender fees. They'll know um, what you mean because there are also additional costs, which you'll ask about next. So the follow-up question should be, what other costs will I pay at closing? Fees charged by third parties, such as for an appraisal, a title search, property taxes, and other closing costs are paid at the loan signing. These costs will be detailed in your official loan estimate document. And three days before closing, the lender will provide your closing disclosure so that on closing day you will know what to expect but the sooner you know what they are and what those fees and everything are the better you can shop compare and prepare for them i did a video on closing costs that you might want to check out after this video that may be helpful to you second you want to ask what they charge for document prep preparation this fee covers the cost of preparation of final legal papers, such as a mortgage or a deed of trust or a note. Third, you want to ask what type of mortgage would be best for me? This question will help you determine whether you're talking to just a producer, a salesperson, or a quality advisor. When you are asked, what are my options for each type of loan discussed? The mortgage lender should tell you the pros and the cons, considering your individual situation. Fourth, how much down payment will I need? A 20% down payment is every lender's ideal, but it's not always required. Qualified buyers can find mortgages with as little as 3% down or even no down payment. Again, there are considerations for every down payment option. The best lenders will take the time to walk you through the choices. So before I go on to the next question that you need to ask a lender, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you never miss any new videos. So on with the questions. Fifth is, do I qualify for any down payment assistance programs? Now, I must add that you have, uh, if you have saved a good down payment, you would not ask this question. But if you have a good credit score and you just have not put away enough, this would be an excellent question to ask the lender. If you really want to size up your mortgage lender's value, this is the question that will do it. If you get a chuckle or a groan in response, move on. Lenders with knowledge of, um, about the local, state, and national down payment assistance programs and the wherewithal to help you navigate the process are well worth the hunt. Six, what is my interest rate? You probably already plan to ask this mortgage question. It's the one benchmark we all understand, or do we? Lenders can move the needle on your mortgage interest rate a number of ways, most of them involving additional fees. But after talking to at least a couple of lenders, you'll get an idea of a ballpark interest rate you'll qualify for. Let's say it's 5%. We'll call that your payment interest rate because that's what your monthly mortgage payment will be based on. Knowing that, you'll move on to the next and very important question about the annual percentage rate or the APR. By the way, 
If you're considering an adjustable rate mortgage rather than a fixed rate loan, you'll want to ask how often is the payment interest rate adjusting? What is the maximum annual adjustment? What is the highest cap on the rate? Seventh, how often will I be updated on the loan's progress? Will you have a single point of contact throughout the mortgage loan process? And how will you be updated on the process? Either by email, phone, or online portal. Establishing your service expectations up front and seeing just how eager the lender is to meet them will give a clear point of comparison among lenders. Eighth, do I have to sign all the paperwork in person? Because of social distancing requirements brought on by the coronavirus pandemic, signing closing documents electronically is becoming more popular and necessary. A mortgage e-closing is likely to proceed faster than a traditional mortgage closing, and you'll probably be better informed about what happens every step of the way. One other benefit of e-closings is electronic doc documents can't be submitted with a missing signature. On a paper document, a missing signature might not be detected immediately, causing headaches and delays after closing. So, Guys, those are the eight really important questions that you should be asking your lender as you are shopping for the best lender that meets your needs. Please hear me when I say that you need to stop going with the first lender that gives you a pre-approval letter. A lender should be more than ready to answer your questions and provide the solutions that meet your situation as you prepare to make the biggest the largest purchase of your life. If you guys have any further questions about this subject, don't hesitate to ask by commenting below or reaching out via email or phone. All of my contact information is listed down below. And thanks for watching.